Yes, 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 yes. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everyone breathing out there today? Listen, if you're one of those who gets up in the morning, you're coughing and hacking up phlegm, that might be an indication that uh, there's something going on with your lungs. You're having some possible fluid buildup. I can't say for sure, but uh, you're waking up in the morning, and you're gasping for air, and you're trying to clear your passages. <clears throat> now, I know some of us have, you know, sinuses kind of bad. Now, I experienced that. Sometime I done had some sinuses and draining down into my throat and I'm coughing, hacking, hacking, hacking. But if you're doing it on a regular basis, you might want to get that checked. Okay, so if you're doing that, still breathing can help you get that clearing. Now, while you're doing this, you're probably choking a little bit, but you got to keep, you got to force that air, not just into the lungs, but you got to engage your diaphragm. When you inhale, your diaphragm drops. When you exhale, it elevates, pushes the oxygen or CO2, excuse me, out. So it's the deep inhale that's going to open up those passages, those airways, those areoli inside of your lungs, clear all that phlegm out, get it to move out of your lungs so you can start feeling like you're breathing normal again, somewhat normal. Uh, some people go to the doctor's office, doctor says, take a deep breath. And they take a deep breath and start coughing. Cook, 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 cook. That's because they're not used to breathing deeply. I can't say it enough. I can't say it enough. You have to start thinking about breathing your headaches. I don't have headaches. I absolutely never have headaches. So much so that I told my family, if I ever complain about a headache, you better get me to the emergency stat. Because something is not right. Because Joe does not have headaches. Okay? He does not. You have to concentrate on breathing, deep, effectual breathing, not just enough to stay alive. <laughs> this. I'm gonna tell you a little story now, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, this guy I worked with a lot a long time ago, young fella. We were talking. I said, you know what the essence of life is? And I had gotten this from somewhere else. I didn't make it up. And he said, what? And I looked at him and I did this. He just looked at me, you know, and kind of grinned a little bit. And he said, what is that? I said, that's breathing. I said, that's the essence of life right there. I said, the more you get that in you, the more you will feel that breath of life. Well, subsequently, he left the job and got into some trouble, was in prison. We corresponded. He sent me a letter one time saying that now he understands what I meant by the breathing. Because when he's lifting weights and he's doing his breathing in unison with that lifting, 
he felt himself have more power as he was lifting. I said, there you go. It's in the breath, folks. The breath of life. Get more of it. Hold it. Let it go. Get some more. Dr. D, breathe here for you. You can do this. Breathe peace.